We're talking about God, grace, and goal setting. And today, the theme is let the light move you. Let the light move you. This is what the Bhagavad Gita is teaching us as it moves towards its last chapter. The deepest teachings come forth and the wisdom heart consciousness, that awakened divine presence, is teaching each of us, is saying the following, describing what it's like when we're in the current of awakened presence. It says, moved by light, a soul is God's handiwork. That sounds very lovely. Moved by light, letting ourselves be moved by the light, becoming intimate with the radiance and allowing that radiance to unfold and to guide us, to be the source of thought, emotion, inspiration, to allow our actions and our relationships to be guided, moved, to be moved by light, not moved by memories of what I didn't do, not moved by projections of what I ought to do, moved by light. That soul is God's handiwork. We are life itself, expressing itself in our unique way. And the second line says, and thus never hates unpleasant work. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> moved by light, a soul is God's handiwork and thus never hates unpleasant work. You know, there's some jobs that are just rough. There's some moments that are just challenging. I love, I'd rather be kissed by Davy than go to the dentist. That's discernment, but I don't have to hate the dentist, right? I don't have to uh, have aversion to the challenge that is rough. That is rough because of my own ignorance, my own uh, conditioning. I need to be able to meet it wholeheartedly. Moved by light, a, God, a soul is God's handiwork and thus never hates unpleasant work. That's below me. I can't stand doing that. I hate that part of the job. Every job, every work, every situation comes with parts that our personality prefers more and prefers less. Life has what's called the face of glory. The face of glory is that aspect of existence that I just can't stand, I don't want to look at. My political enemy, ha! Huh? The ancient wisdom sages said, that's the face of glory. Really? Oh, this aspect, this failure of mine, that's the face of glory. The part of my soul that I just am uncomfortable with, that's the face of glory. Whatever I turn away from with aversion, the sages said, is the face of glory. Why? Because as we can turn towards it with loving awareness, that which we have rejected becomes redeemed and reveals its hidden gift and blessing that then flows into us so we can become more skillful, more profound, deeper, and more powerful uh, emanations of the radiance, more wise expressions of that light, more easily moved by the light, and more powerfully expressing God's handiwork in this moment. All doubts removed, the wise never shirk, neither do they cling to any pleasant work. So we don't reject the unpleasant, we don't grab on and hold on to the pleasant. We're not, it's not a Aversion and attraction don't become the engines that guide us, that drive us more accurately forward. That's the engine of suffering. Rather, we turn to the light, which is the light that illuminates everything. Everything is being bathed in the light. Everything is an emanation of the light. And thus, we realize that we are that light, and we can become God's handiwork. We become the agents of awakening by receiving all that we have rejected into the heart of loving awareness and letting that guide us for the next step on the path.